Try it. Did you? Oh, let's see if Benny got one. <gasps> there he is. Where? <gasps> Did you see him light up? He likes you, Benny. Um, it is Sunday and we are headed into church right now and I uh, I wanted to show you guys the VBS setup we have VBS starting tomorrow here at Fairhaven and they have done just an amazing job um, so I wanted to just see here's the registration table Got like a little jellyfish. We're doing the submerged curriculum. And there's cousin Aaliyah. Aaliyah's coming to watch the kids. Oh, wipe out. Aaliyah's coming to watch the kids this morning. Say hi, Aaliyah. This is our niece. Good morning. It's so cool. Wait till you see. Mommy, look at Oh, yep. They've got little swimmers on the wall. Peek in here and look what they did in here. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that. This is the preschool room. It's kind of dark in there. Maybe we'll see it later. But this is what they did on the stage. You can't even see this right now because they don't have lights on it, but they have these really cool coral reefs set up. And isn't that neat? Look at the shark. Look at the shark, isn't it? Somebody made that out of foam core. Anyways, all right, let's get you guys in your classroom. So yeah, we're taking the kids to their classroom right now. They go, um, when we're rehearsing on Sunday mornings, into one of the nursery classrooms and they hang out with Aaliyah for a little while. She's a really good helper, their cousin. So we're gonna go in there, drop the kids off before we go to rehearsal. I gotta go. Mommy. Mama loves you. Oh, little scrunch. This is so hard. He usually doesn't usually doesn't do this because right now we only have um, one service here at Fairhaven for the summer. So usually he usually he does really well just going in and knowing that I'm gonna be back after one service, but for some reason he's really upset today. I don't know. Today I am taking my mom out on a date and we are going to go see the BFG at the theater. I hope it's a good one because I read the book and my mom said if I read the book then we I could take her on a date. So we're going to go get lunch and go see the BFG. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I'm super excited because the BFG was one of my favorite books Mine too. when I was Camden's age and so yeah we are gonna go see the BFG and it's gonna be awesome because it's our first mother and son date actually we've had one of those before oh well, that was a birthday remember I took you out for your birthday yeah. you know it's just just us but this one is a date so Camden is learning what it's like to date a girl and he's learning how to be a gentleman and how to open doors and how to pay for things and treat a girl very nicely and so we'll see how he does and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun together I think he's gonna do awesome because he's a really good kid and um, I know that he knows how to be a gentleman because his daddy has taught him well so, 
we're gonna go do that. We'll let you guys know how the movie is. We'll give maybe a little review on our way home about the BFG. Tell you if it's worth your box office dollars. So we just went to see the BFG. If you were listening to earlier what we told you. Um and so it was a very good movie. You should if you ever get the chance and you go see a movie with your kids, take 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 your kids to see the BFG. What was your favorite part about it without giving away any, like, things about the movie? What, what would you say your favorite part of it was? Don't give away any key things, though. Okay. My favorite part about it was at the end where the giants got to eat, had to eat the... The snaz cumber seeds, dried up snaz cumber seeds, left on the hot. I thought you would have. I thought you would have said your favorite part was the, the part where you had dinner with the queen. Oh yeah, that was also my favorite part. Yeah, my favorite part actually was the. Um, I thought it was breakfast. I think you have it on, on my arm. Or breakfast, whatever it was. You can hold it up a little bit. Um, I think my favorite part was the musical score in the movie. Did you notice how like good the music was? The orchestration oh, yes. behind everything? It was very like, it reminded me of old school Disney. Like the old Disney movies and, and how they used to have really um, fancy musical scores to them. And I, I really enjoyed it. So it was a very good it was a very good movie. And do you I recommend do you recommend home. that people read the book first or see the movie first? What do you think? I recommend you read the book because the book is better. But the movie is also really good too. Either way, just go see it. It's good. But I'm telling you, the book is so much better. <laughs> it's usually the case. What else did you see? Did you see anything else? Any previews? Any any like signs hanging up? Things that look cool? Oh, and there was this preview of a new Disney movie. I don't know. It might have been with Pixar too. I think it's just Disney. You're talking about Pete's? No, not that oh, one. The the cartoon, the cartoon one, where it's like, oh, the guy that had the tattoos all over his body. Oh, Ko what was it, Koana? Ko Something like that. I it, don't was, know. Oh, it was like a Hawaiian. Yeah, it was like a, a, it was about, I think it was about the girl, but also about the guy who's like a Hawaiian demigod. His name is Maui. I think it's called Koana. Something like that. Yeah, that looked like a good one. I thought that, you know, they're coming out with Pete's Dragon in August. I thought that one looked really good. That's another one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. And now they're redoing it. So. And we didn't see this one yet. We didn't we didn't go see the Secret Life of Pets. I've seen commercials of it, and I really want to go see it. So um, yeah, we'll be talking to you later. Did you see something? There was one more that you saw on the wall, a poster. Oh Tell yes. Us what that was. Yes. I saw on the wall that they're coming out with a Star Wars movie, but not not by George Lucas. I think 
My mom said that it's by another guy. And, um, he, he was writing, he, I think he made a new movie. And it's coming out in December. Yeah, December. And it's a story of, of Star Wars. Yeah, it said a Star Wars story instead of Star Wars. And it was called what? It's called Rogue One. Rogue One? Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, that comes out in December. And I want to see that. So, talk to you later. You're gonna catch a firefly? You're gonna go catch a firefly? Can you see the fireflies on here? Summer night, oh yes, what? Yes, it's mm -hmm. yes, it's mm -hmm. summer night, oh yes, what? Yes, it's summer night, oh yes, what? Mmm, 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 then he let him go and he say na 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 Blue moon and I go Hey, hey, yeah, yeah <laughs> Catch those stars, buddies! You gonna catch those stars? Get them! Get the stars! <gasps> Get him, Sally! Did you catch any yet, drums? No! Get one! Catch one and show me! Where are those stinking fireflies? <laughs> I want them green! When I smush all them! No, you don't want to smush them? I mean, no! When I capture them in my hand cage! Where did I see? Get one, Bunny. One, one. Nobody's Where caught one for me yet. I see one right here. Catch Where me a fuck I think I caught one. Did you? I think. Let's see. Aw, I think it walked uh, out of my hands and there was a hole like Try this. again. Try it. Did you? Oh, let's see if Benny got one. <gasps> there he is. Where? <gasps> Did you see him light up? Oh, he likes you, Benny. Where'd he go? There he is. Mommy, I think I he's going to crawl up your shirt. Mommy, you? I can't see. I'm going to name him Turquoise. What is it? I'm going to name him Turquoise. Turquoise? No, Turk... Turkey Oise. Turkey Oise? <laughs> yeah. Oh, George, you're so silly. I hope he doesn't die. Ricky George, get down from I there, buddy. Run! <gasps> Here comes Daddy. Is that the mommy one? Is that her mommy? I love you. Hi, buddy. I love you. Can I have that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a little too big for this thing. I think it's time for you to be done with these. You say bye bye to Dadus? Well, bye let, let bye, me, Dadu. Let me put it in my. Blue moon and I go. Can you sing it? <laughs> and he'd say. He's shy, Mom. Na 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 You are so silly. Are you being silly? What a silly goon.
<sighs> Today we have, you know, worshipped with our church and we've ministered. And, I, don't, I don't know. Can I just stop using the word minister? It's such a dumb Christian word. <laughs> like we just talked with some friends about Jesus and the life that he brings, you know? And churches hurt. I mean, let's just be honest about that. Like, churches hurt people. And it's unfortunate. But God is still in control. You know? and we'll never ever look at the church as the problem. Just look in the mirror and say, God, how can we make it a difference? Yeah. And I'll never look to the church as the answer either. Right. You know, Jesus is the answer. I think that that's, that's, right. a, that's a big deal. If we keep our focus on Him, it doesn't matter. You know, people are going to disappoint us. We've heard two stories this weekend of families in two different churches who have not, they've literally not been allowed to serve in the church. <laughs> Like, that's the dumbest thing in the world. I hear all the time that churches are struggling to find volunteers and all these kind of things, and these people aren't bad people. And, and yet you've got people who are imperfect, not being allowed to serve, but yeah. the fact is that we are all We're imperfect. We're all imperfect, oh my goodness. You know, I just, I just told Camden tonight, I caught myself, like, I caught myself giving myself a sermon. What? That's the hand to hand. I caught myself giving myself a sermon because Camden, I, you know, we were having him clean up the kitchen at your parents' house, help, help to clean up all the mess from our, our pizza dinner. And he goes, he's like, oh, Daddy, I just can't wait for the day when my. What does the hand to hand truck do? What does the hand to hand truck do? That's a good question. You can't even see us in here. <laughs> it's really dark. Well, that's the hand-to-hand -hand truck. You can see it. Um, and the hand-to-hand -hand truck brings food to kids that don't have any food. Isn't that a good thing? Yeah. That's a good thing, yeah. Maybe we'll try to lighten this video up. Anyways, I don't know how it'll look. so I was saying, Camden was grumbling about having to clean up after his brothers. And he was saying, I can't wait for the day when they grow up and can help out too. And I said, you know, Camden, I can't wait for the day when you grow up and can help out doing all the things that I do for you. And then, like, I don't know, I, f I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, I can't wait for the day when you grow up. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and start doing the things that I've asked you to do. Oh, my goodness. And I'm like, wow, God, isn't that true? Like, And I told Camden, I said, Camden, you know what? Even Mommy and Daddy, we're still growing up in things, too. And we all have to have grace for one another. We're all growing up somewhere. What? It says it's Careful. time for bed. Careful now. What is, what is it having? This has a bed. No. 